Uh, this way, let me go over some reasons as why you would consider building your own PC as opposed to purchasing a pre-built computer. Which is interesting to me because I've only built one PC in my life and I had other PCs certainly and a lot of laptops, but I went Mac. So once, I'm not going to say once you go Mac, you never go back. That's not the case. Uh, well, it is a case, you know, right. it was a Mac that had a case. Uh, but yeah, I, I am curious as to, you know, the reasoning or the logic behind uh, going custom built versus off the shelf these days, right. seeing if, the, if if this has changed any from what I knew. Yeah, the, the biggest reason probably for most people whenever they're looking to get into a, a personal computer it, and this is more gaming centric let me say that first okay um more high-end type hardware as opposed to purchasing something that was pre-built okay uh so the, the to me the number one thing would be cost um because that's what most people look for you've got x amount of money on your budget uh, you're willing to spend this. It's it's much easier to hit that target um, and save more cash than you would think uh, by you know basically just building out and, and sourcing out the parts yourself, right? Really? Um, yeah. Yeah, you'd, you'd um, think that you know when it's pre-built, it, you know if it was pre-built, pre-configured, and everything, that would save money because you'd be able to buy in bulk, right? Or they'd buy in bulk and then assemble it. But you're you're suggesting that it's still cheaper or more cost-effective to go. It is cheaper and more cost-effective to do it on your own. Usually by a pretty fair margin. Maybe not as much now since everything's gone up in price. Um, unfortunately, that's the world that we're living in right now. But even comparing to what you would pay. Say a, a, a Dell or an Alienware computer. You could go out and purchase one that's say three to four thousand um, dollars. You could easily save fifteen to twenty percent on that cost by building your own personal computer. Um, you got to remember that just because they're pre-built doesn't mean that there's not hidden costs with that. There's software licenses that go along with these that are preloaded on there. There are agreements with, you know, these board partners and these companies that they have to hit X amount of dollars. So th there's going to be some hidden fees in there. It's not all just one to one ratio. So that's something that you need to keep in mind too. But, but for the most part, you can save quite a bit of, of money by, by building your own. Um, the next for me, is probably the biggest uh, and that's the performance gains um, if you're looking for specific types of numbers that you want to hit um, for a certain type of game that you're wanting to play you know for me it's all about the frames per second and the highest resolution that i can push those at i like the eye candy okay i, I get the game <laughs> The last thing that I want to do is, is spend $70 on a game and it look and play like something that's, you know, two, three, four years old or on a console. I want to play something better than what you're going to get on a console. And you can do that with a PC. So performance, you can prioritize your specific components um, that you want for your build. Um, to, to meet your particular needs. And a lot of time that really boils down to two things, really, well, three for the most part now, but your your GPU is always gonna be your, your biggest expense, um, followed by your processor. Um, those two are, are big. Um, and a lot of times in a pre-built system, uh, you can't get the kind of configuration that you're looking for, you know, to, to, to hit those numbers because they have to try to target a wider audience, let's say, and cover a wide gamut of customers uh, as opposed to where me, I'm probably in the 10%, right? You know, because I, I'm always chasing that, that rabbit, trying to have the best of, of both worlds. Uh, so for me, it, it's really not going to be feasible to spend four to five thousand dollars on a PC that I can build my own with similar specs or better specs for for less. So um, performance is is big for me. Um, upgradeability is the next topic that I would like to go into because and probably the biggest um, with right to repair and different things that people have 
had to experience in the past that if you own something that you should be able to take care of, you should be able to repair it, you should be able to upgrade it. Um, to me, that's a big one um, because if you buy a pre-built PC uh, or a laptop, a gaming laptop or just a regular laptop for that matter, you know, it doesn't have to be gaming or a gaming centric PC for this, but you oftentimes run into proprietary parts. Um, oh. These motherboards that are in some of these PCs um, you can't just go and get off the shelf parts for them and put them in there. A lot of times they're soldered in the board where the board is a certain size and specific to this case that you can't find anywhere but this OEM product. Um, and it leaves you really with no future proof proofing options, you know, to where you can't upgrade and stay relevant with the times and, and the technology that's coming out. It uh, was usually, they were actually notorious for that. They used proprietary PSUs for power supply units. Yes, they did. I've and... still got a, an XPS gaming system that's downstairs in the garage that has a proprietary PSU in it because it was yep. long. It was probably about a foot long and it was only probably two inches tall. Um, and it was the whole base of the PC. Um, and try to find a, a, a replacement power supply for that you're not going to uh you could cobble one together but yeah you could cobble one together and that's not the safest thing in the world to mess with even <laughs> as a PSU. i don't i don't recommend anybody taking apart a power supply yeah no don't do that yeah yeah let's not let's not try to to electrocute ourselves uh, but yeah, that's, that's been a big issue. And, and a lot of times, uh, like I said, I ran into it myself and once I got bit by that, I said that, you know, never again would I, I, I purchase a pre-built uh, PC, I would, I would do it all on my own.